We're going to be talking about how to get a refund from Ticketmaster or Live Nation. I'll show you an experience that I just had. Um, by the way, I'm Jeff Corrett. I talk mostly about digital marketing stuff, but today we're talking about Ticketmaster. A little bit of digital marketing involved in this conversation, but basically, I went to go buy a uh, a pair of tickets for me and my wife. It uh, was supposed to be a two day event that's happening in February, 311 show. Um, been fans for the last several years and basically the two day tickets weren't available or at least weren't linked to from where uh, you'd think they were which would be like from the page it just it just kind of didn't say it so i thought i might be buying a two day ticket and really it was a one day ticket and i opted not to get the insurance of course they're going to fight me tooth and nail so here's how that conversation went and by the way my wife did find the two day tickets uh, on her phone by just kind of starting from the beginning, finding the artist. So basically, um, this is 3.11, and here's the Thursday, and they had, a, they had a link for the Thursday show, and then they had a link to the Friday show. They did not have a link to the two-day tickets. They were like discounted two-day tickets. Of course, you, you only have to pay one set of fees, too, so ended up saving 50 bucks total or something like that. But anyway, here's, here's how the conversation went, and here's how you can get your refund from Ticketmaster or get your refund from Live Nation. Live Nation is a like extension of Ticketmaster, I guess. Um, and this is a pre-sale ticket, by the way. So I clicked live chat, and uh, they said I had an eight-minute wait. A couple minutes later, hey, I bought these tickets, but I thought they were the two-day, but it was only for the one-day. And Alma C connected. Hello, thanks for connecting with us. I'll be happy to assist you today. Please give me a few moments to look over your information so I can help. And then I said, okay. And uh, sorry to hear that. And did you need the two-day pass? And I said, hey, yes. But my wife already bought it from her phone. I was like, okay, now they're going to give me trouble because like, I didn't buy it from the same account or something. I figured maybe they'd be a little bit more likely to refund me. And then, I, and then um, my wife bought it. I said, my wife bought it from her phone since your website did not offer it to me as an option on my desktop. And then uh, the customer support rep said she has already repurchased. So that makes me think, like, she didn't put repurchased, you repurchase. So, like, are they outsourcing some, outsourcing and training some cheap labor? That's what I'm wondering. Um, and, and I'm thinking that is the case because they, they're trained to fight, right? So, uh, yes, from your account or hers, I said from hers. So two different accounts. Maybe that this would have been a little bit easier if we were both on the same account. And then uh, we could have, supposed to be could have, just a little English grammar tip we could have we could have processed a exchange had to reach out blah 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 uh, since the new order was made in her account we cannot refund so if we so we could have avoided this by buying them from the same account keep that in mind uh, but we're on different accounts which complicates things i guess uh, refunds have only, uh, can only be issued if it, an event has been canceled postponed or rescheduled and all sales are final um you know, they're trying to get me to sell the tickets, basically. And then I, I go back with, your website did not offer the two-day option um, because I was coming from the 311 page, which only linked to the single day. Um, so 311, yes, they should have uh, had the two-day link there, but at the same time, when I'm on that page, it should have given me the option for the two-day. And I, I kind of was thinking, oh, cool, maybe this maybe this is the two-day ticket. Like, oh, it starts on Thursday and then they have a Friday, but like, I, I kind of thought I was buying the, the two-day tickets. Uh, maybe I deluded myself there, but anyway, I I claimed, hey, this was an error with your website. And really, this should have a little pop-up. Did you need the two-day? Click here. I mean, come on, it's 2019. This isn't like rocket science. But I think it should be subject to a refund and it still does not offer it as an option. And then she's asking like, are you in the app? And I said, no, I'm on the desktop. There were no two-day tickets available. And then she's like, well, how did your wife find it? Well, I said, well, I called my wife and she had gone, I guess, to Live Nation and started uh, by the artist, which showed the tour dates or, or the show dates. And then she saw the two-day tickets there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I, at this point, I was still thinking it wasn't showing up on the PC version. And then our friends actually had the same issue. So it's not just me. And I'm, I'm, I would say I'm pretty website and, and, and tech literate, considering I built websites for 20 years. So... I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to this stuff. Uh, so she reviewed it, blah, blah, blah. It shows us multiple dates, blah, blah, blah. And I, I come back with, uh, it should have shown it as an option. That was my thing. It really should have shown as an option when you're looking at the single day. 
but it didn't. Uh, and then I say, don't get, don't make me get my attorney involved. <laughs> so you got to try that angle. That's false advertising. I don't want to have to get my attorney involved. All right. Now this problem, this this poor customer support rep is probably freaking out. But uh, she sticks to her guns, right? I'm like, oh, geez, she's sticking to her guns. Uh, you have to select the date you wish to buy. Well, I didn't really get that because I came directly from the artist uh, page. Um, and so basically keep going, keep going back and forth. We do not control the artist site. Okay, I get that. Still, should be a little pop-up or something if you need the two-day or maybe some kind of drop-down. I mean, come on. There's nothing like that. And then my thing is, hey, okay, well, your site should make it clear that it is not the two-day and should say click here for two-day. For all I know, it was a two-day ticket that started on Thursday, February 21st. I was kind of thinking, oh, cool. Uh, I thought it might be a two-day ticket. And then it is on the site as multiple event. And I also compound this with the fact that it was pre-sale. So, like, you never know when pre-sale is going to sell out. You know, and so, like, I got you got to make a quick decision. So that's part of it. Like, I don't have time to sit there and think and consider every little thing and start from the beginning of Live Nation and risk giving up the tickets that I had in my cart. That's, that's the other part of this. And then I asked to, uh, basically, I said, okay, is it really worth all the bad press when I take this terrible experience to social media? And can I speak with a suit? Uh, and so this is when it goes. I do have a resolutions team who can call you. They um, they call me within like five minutes. And the first thing the person says is, hey, uh, we were able to make an exception and give you the refund this time. So that's how I was able to get my refund. And um, that's how you can get a refund from Ticketmaster or Live Nation if you're in a similar situation. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. Have you ever been in a situation like this? Let me know. Uh, what well, do you think I did? Do you think I was uh, wrong in some way here, um, or do you feel like I was in the right? Let me know in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing from you, and see you in the next one.